If you've seen TV programs or videos where they zoomed into a spot in the Earth using Google Earth, in this video I'll show you how to add that to your videos. The example I'll use is with iMovie, but the process is virtually identical with any nonlinear editor. Step 1. You'll need Google Earth Pro on your computer. You can download that for free. You'll need to agree to the terms of service on the download page. Download will start automatically. Then complete the install once it's been downloaded. In this video, we'll not only do a zoom from space, but we'll also fly along a GPS track. We need a GPS track to follow. Let's use a GPS track from my iPhone, from a Grand Canyon hike up the Boucher Trail. We need to use Gaia GPS to export to KML. This will go into the download folder by default. Open up the track in Google Earth Pro. Again, Google Earth will automatically move to the track and show the entire track. The next step to making the movie is to expand the track to show the route. Right-click on Tour for Options and Info. I prefer thicker tracks. Thicker tracks are easier to see. Zoom out to the starting point. I like to zoom out far enough so the geography is recognizable, but not where the whole globe is visible. It just takes too long to zoom in. Click Play Track for Preview. At this point, the simplest thing to do is a screen capture with QuickTime. The process I'll show you has much better quality than a preview, but it's more complex to do. If my GPS track looks a little squiggly, that's due to the iPhone noise in the canyons. The GPS doesn't track very well when it doesn't have a clear view of the sky. Click Save Tour. You'll need this for the movie maker. Set your flyover preferences. Set the camera range and distance. Set the speed. I like mine to go a little faster than the default. Click OK. Close the tour playback control, otherwise the movie maker option will be grayed out. There's only one tour on your hard drive, so it'll be the default selection. Set Save to File. Avoid iCloud mirrored folders. That'll slow things down. Set the resolution. Click Create Movie. The view during the recording will have a bit of a mismatch. I neglected to zoom out before doing the recording, so the movie will start from the current viewpoint in this case. Let's import the result into iMovie to see what we've got. Select the file. The clip shows up in the media section of iMovie. Drag it onto the timeline. Voila! We're flying in the Grand Canyon. If this video was useful, click like or subscribe below.